Fun moment. Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States. And we're taking a look at AT's Aurora. This is a performance version of a music video. And what I've been doing is as I've been reacting on my marathon with AT's, I've been trying to make sure that I cover as many like dance contacts as possible with them because not every comeback that they did, I'm learning had a dance practice. So what I did is I went to AT's music videos and I looked through and make sure at least thumbnail or title wise matched my spreadsheet because yes I do have a spreadsheet to keep track because it also helps me know which ones need to get released based on which comeback too. So it's like long term spreadsheets is what I made. And, uh, I, and I just kind of cross-referenced it with what was already existing in my in my spreadsheet of ATs. And this one was one that I ended up finding and I added. And so I don't know how much dance is gonna be in this. It does say performance version based on just, you know, sometimes when you hover over a thumbnail, it shows you little excerpts. Um, it did show a little bit. It feels like there's gonna be a lot of movement involved. So I just decided to add it in, cause why not? And I think it's gonna be really fun to see a, a performance version in comparison to just a dance practice from them around this era that I've been reacting to at this time. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. I love me a good walking bridge. being infatuated with these really close-ups of, of these these crews but now I just think about the video editing to make it look a certain way in the filters Love me, I love the standing around, man. The standing urine vocally. Give it to me, you know? Like that, that was a fun moment. Woo! Okay, in the grass. Yep. Building it up. That's a good eyeshadow. That looks nice. You see that glisten on that thing? I like the track. Yeah. Ooh. That was a cool visual with the bridge. Fun. On this one's pretty good when they, they're not doing too much on the track because the track doesn't call for that, you know? They build effectively, the energy and transitions of the verses to the choruses is very appropriate. I like it. This is because of the format of the cinematography of it, and I'm a fan. Oh, I'm a fan of their mesh, their mesh job. That's cool. Aurora, like Aurora, like the, what that's, what that's called, right? Yeah, I'm a fan, I like that visual. That's some great masking they did, if you don't know what that is, I'll talk about it, but I like that. Mm. That was nice, that was a good moment. That was
was nice. I like that. So I did reference about the the Aurora, right? Is that, that's, oh my gosh. Yeah, I think, I don't know why my brain's not braining about it. But it's the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 it's the lights, the north. We call it the northern lights, right? <laughs> but I think it's also called that Aurora, right? Anyway, bless it. Just get it together. Okay, going back from the top. Is this the most clean routine? Nah, not really. But is it? Is it like that off? No. It actually, I'm able to see the visuals. I have a lot of really positive things to say about it too. This really reminds me, for me, I shot a concept video on a walking bridge, very similar to this, but it was a lot bigger and it was more blue. It wasn't as um, rusted. So I understand this environmental factor of dancing on a walking bridge with the material or the type of flooring that you're dancing on, the amount of space you have and the sensitivity of the time, the timing of people walking on it. Cause it's a public place. I don't know if they have permission to like close it off or not, maybe, but in my case, no, no. So we had to be very lucky with the timing of how we shot a lot of it. Um, I actually don't think I've posted it on YouTube or, or Patreon. I don't think I posted it there. It's on my Instagram though. So I may, I mean, I may do like a, you know, if I hit a certain number of subscribers or something, maybe I'll do like a, a analysis like this on one of my own videos. That'll be actually really cool. But, but if it's not cool, you tell me and I won't do it. But I, it, yeah, so I really empathize with this one. Just in the environmental factor side of it. Great cinematography. It really is. This right here, I mean, some of the range, like I see the movement. It just doesn't have that crispness of everybody hitting the range a thousand percent from start to finish. But everyone's doing the movement. So for me, when this kind of performance type clip, I do feel like it's more forgiving because when you think about the type of song it is and also the energy that they're building within it, it makes you, it, it, you, you tend to, they're, they're training us as viewers of this particular concept to not have to, we don't want to be looking for overly synchronized movement because it's not actually going to match as effectively to this. Of course, it'll look nice, but it's, it, you want to have a sense of like individuality of the conversation about it, you know? So that's just my, that's like my initial thought about it. That's why it doesn't bother me as much. Like I see the point and down bringing it over. I see what they're trying to hit on it. The bleed through, that's really nice. Some people are choosing to go neck, some are choosing to go shoulder. That is, I mean, that's a difference, but it's not a big enough difference where I'm like, oop. <sighs> and then in walks in the close-ups of the makeup artist team's job. Like, let's take a look just here. If you see, I'm very impressed. I think they put a great color grade on and then there's like a really good filter on this um on this shot it's fun it really just cares a very dreamlike reminiscent nostalgic kind of vibe about it because if you think when you look at the filter they could have shot this very clear you know and it's very different in the graininess too in comparison to let's say like pirate king it's the only other one i can reference of ats is that's a performance video outside of their dance practices i feel like i'm going to see more for sure in the future but it's still really nice to see this and you can just tell it gives that kind of dreamlike sense i love that that was a great moment where he kind of hit boom 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 having this trickle effect was very nice and notice that everybody reverbed very similarly but they all had their own poses in which how they started so i like that everybody just being able to sing what they need to sing it's fun he looks very sad there great job i know i, I was this close to putting on the lyrics but because i was wanting to really pay attention to the dancing and not focus on the lyrics as much that's why i wanted to look at the dancing but i have a feeling that it all tailors very well together great transition Everyone, I mean, there's nothing wrong with dancing in front of a tree. I love it. It's very nature, organic. It feels like a vibe. I like it, you know? And let's sing in front of trees, too. The trees need some music, too. We forget about that. They're living things. They deserve to be serenaded as well. And then they go boom, boom. Great what usage of your feature. I feel like that was a very similar, he was our similar feature that was over here whenever we panned out to this. I love that, that little boom, and then the boom, really great explosion, match the aesthetic or that, that timbre very well on that bass. Great, very, very well done there. Turn around and then having a new feature, having this motion, 
boom it's nice slow it doesn't come across as sensual because the track itself doesn't come across as sensual you know so when they have these movements and none of them are shirtless either hence why there's just a lot of other factors now if they were shirtless it was darker the graininess was more sharp and the timbre of the track was in a minor key it'd be looking pretty sensual <laughs> but the, here it feels more like empowerment but we have a sense of resistance is really what it gives off so context of your outfits and scenery and environment do matter in the overall concept of what you want to come across Building the energy here, even as they're coming up, even through this, they're kind of being allowed to kind of do their own thing. It doesn't, it feels like the choreography was meant to not be overly clean because all the other contexts of what we're seeing in the other shots aren't as clean either. Do you know what I mean? And I like that. Here, too. I love that. I love this. Boom, boom, with a little gliding effect. That's really nice. And then you have your, your beautiful uh, northern light vibes your aurora there pulling it through boom boom down really fun da -da 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 -da, boom in a ch like that it's fun ooh ooh bringing it up love that throwing it like the churn that's fun I will say a lot of groups tend to laugh at themselves when they do this type of concept because they're like, when they see somebody's close up like this, mm. like very ending fairy-esque for the sake of a an emotion. Some people don't like, if that's you, you're just, you just do this because you, you don't normally act like that in real life, you know? But some people do, but we don't normally have a camera in front of us to capture it. Well, great, Joan's shot looks great. Like that metal door right there, the turn, having them all turn around, really fun. Now, if they chose to do a fixed point with the head, with that turn around, it would have looked, it would have been more, um, it would have been more connected. But once again, I could see what they were trying to do there. Now, right there, da da da, really nice, you know, having their own sense of imagery, building it through. This part here, you can tell some people are stepping, some people are twisting. That that would be something that I would want to clarify, especially if you want to have more um, freedom in the upper body. At least have either your upper body or your lower body in check with each other. That's going to help with your individuality that you choose to explore, just depending, which is good. That throw, that was really nice. That doing like that moment. That was a cool moment. Yep, now we're back to that the, to that energy that we had saw we had seen earlier in the first pre-chorus. That was nice. And then and then we got to see a more accent on that part in particular, which is nice. I love the switch there, hitting in the accent at the top, coming up. You just notice the range of the arms are a little off, but that energy was good because look, the lower body was clean together. The upper body really represented more a sense of their own perspective of how they wanted to throw it. And that worked very well there because of what I had just referenced. I mean, this, of course, you have your little ending fairies, which is fun. Yeah, da, da, da. now right here, dun, do, do, ch, and a don't, do, do, ch. That was nice. I mean, because the track doesn't like have this huge explosion of energy, they shouldn't have a huge explosion of energy. Um, and also when you look at just the, the overall aesthetic of the of the space too. Having this sense of just presence and being in the space and openness with the body really helps us as viewers want to take in the environment with them. So I do like that. So this build out was really nice too. Holly chose to raise the arms up. That was good. A little, per a little like percussion accent on that was good. Just a little bit needing of refinement for that part. Pulling through, dipping down. Yeah, don't do boom, boom. And we build up the energy more in the second half of the course, which really helps us as viewers stay captivated, even though we haven't really cut to the still, uh, you know, even though we do have some cuts in between this, it helps us maintain the energy because it is st still the same venue or environment that they're keeping us in. So that's, that's helpful. The throw was nice with a hit around, looking to the back right here. They're setting us up with a new with a new scene and I love that we got to see the scene in the eye because it was a little bit of foreshadowing there right now they're exploring I love that Woom, and we get to see it more clearly here the Aurora 
I love this top a lot. It looks great. Super cool. Matches these. It just it matches very well with the environment. Yeah, sliding through him having his moment, and they all just simply transition. A transition was enough, and I liked that choice. Hmm. So we really hit that there. That da -da. oh, I can't even hit that high note. Bless my voice. Da 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 da. But notice it was in more of a falsetto. So normally falsetto, especially when you hear male vocalists uh, sing in falsetto. It has an, a sense of, because I, this was one of the very first musicality or music cognitive psychology things that I've ever looked up in my life was, why do men, when they sing falsetto, why does it sound more vulnerable than women? Or like, why does it sound or register emotionally different? It's, it is because it sounds more vulnerable when men do it because their voices are naturally in a lower octave than women. Now, I'm not saying all the time, of course, there's exceptions, but in general, right? And so whenever you hear guys sing in a falsetto, it feels very like, uh, it feels more intimate, if that makes sense. And uh, so here, I do feel like that just that energy was maybe possibly a little too full for that part, you know, because if you look, now there's a bass there, of course, but that bass isn't nearly as aggressive as some of the other basses they were doing when they were executing a lot less in movement. So that's my thing, is if you're going to go really big and full on a bass, you wanna make sure that the basses are in line with each other in your choices. So for me, that would just be one thing, it should just be a da-da, or maybe how they get in and out of it, slightly different, but I don't mind it because it was clean, you know what I mean? It's just more of a preferential thing there. Turning it around too. Love that. And I liked the, the pan out to the wide shot, just like we saw in the first course. I very much like that. That's cool. Ties the bridge together very well. The push through, boom, and everybody committing by allowing the chest to go first and taking their head down. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. The boom, 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 boom. I like this build up. I do wish it it's about as refined as when I saw them in their um performance number three. That's what it kind of feels like it's gleaned from, which I really like. Um, but I would give them my same notes, just being very mindful of how you swing into your position. You want to make sure the range is similar in the timing, not just getting to the place at the same time. You know, how you get there does matter too. Yeah, hitting it through. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so I like that ending. It's nice, it's simple, it's effective. And having the pan out, really getting to showcase the whole name of the track. That was fun. I enjoyed that, and I'm glad that I was able to catch it so I could actually take a look at it around the time where all the other ones I was looking at are happening too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I was helpful in some way. If you want to see more 80s, XG, 17, K-pop, things of the like, I have so much of it on YouTube, but I have so much more on Patreon, like a lot more. <laughs> so if that's something that piques your interest, no better time like the present to go over there and binge to your heart's content. There's plenty more where this came from, for sure. Um, and like I said, I've been really enjoying my time with ATs. I really feel like I've been growing a lot as a choreographer and as somebody who looks at choreography. I really feel like I've been able to look at things from different lenses and I think that's important for people in general you know to learn different perspectives and learn different things like things during different times of life are, are going to register differently and I'm very appreciative of the of the fan base of ATs to be so gracious to me especially um, when my critiques may be stemmed more uh, constructive than positive you know so I'm very thankful for that and I can't wait to continue. I, I know their newer stuff is definitely where uh, people, that's where people, all of people's favorites are from their later work. So I'm, I just honestly, I can't wait till I get to that. But of course, I want to take time to appreciate where they came from, which is this era of treasure specifically. So once again, I am Jess and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.